In this video, I'll quickly explain how to set up a Figma MCP server with Cursor so you can use Figma designs and turn them into actual code and apps. It really helps speed up the product building process too. But first, let's see what people are building with this cool MCP server. Let's head over to Twitter and check out a few examples. If you look at this one, Cursor was able to convert a Figma design into code with 85% accuracy using the MCP server. What that means is people are building full applications without needing to be pro designers. They just copy the Figma link paste it into cursor and cursor automatically understands the design content. Then with the Figma MCP uh, context server, you can pull in all that design info at the code level. Super cool stuff. All right, let's get straight into the implementation. Here are a few prerequisites you'll need. First, you need Node.js version 16 or higher. I'm using version 20. Don't worry, I'll show you how to upgrade your Node version if needed. You'll also need NPM or PNPM depending on which one you prefer. And finally, you'll need a Figma account. It's totally free. Just sign up. We need the Figma account because we'll be creating an API access key. All right, let's jump into step one. We'll start by getting the Figma API token and then we'll move on to step two and the rest of the set. To generate this Figma API token, what you uh, need to do is log into your Figma account. Once you're in, go to your profile section and then click on the settings tab. Inside settings, you'll find a security option. In the security section, you'll see a part called personal access token. What you need to do here is generate a new token. A personal access token lets you access your uh, the Figma data through the API. It allows tools like the MCP server to talk to your Figma files. Important note, make sure you don't share this token with anyone. This token is tied directly to your account and if it gets into the wrong hands, it could cause serious security issues. Now, I'll give the token a name. You can choose any name, doesn't matter. I'll call this one Figma MCP cursor integration. Then I'll set the expiration to no expiration, but you can choose whatever works for you. Next, I'll give read only access to file content and write access to the other resources. Then click on generate token. Now you'll see your new token. Make sure you copy this token right now because this is the only time it will be shown. Once it's gone, you can't get it back. So I'll copy the token, paste it into my notes or doc. And by the way, I'm going to delete this token after recording. So don't even try to use it. And that's step one. Let's move on to step two. So step two is about installing the MCP server to cursor. Now this is the code you'll need to add. It's in JSON format. Don't worry if it looks a bit scary. It's actually very easy to integrate and I will walk you through it. What you need to do is just copy and paste this code. Then go to cursor settings. There you'll find the option to add a global MCP server. Make sure you paste the code in that section. Now, in my case, I already have one MCP server added. So your screen might look a bit different. Uh, maybe just an empty array. What you'll do is add one more MCP server to that list. Just press a comma and then paste the new MCP server below it. That's how we're adding the Figma MCP server. By the way, this Figma MCP server is actually made by a company called Framelink. It's a pretty cool company. Uh, I think it's run by a solo founder or a small team. And this MCP server lets you turn Figma designs into real code uh, in just one shot. That's how easy it's become to turn design into working code. If you look at the quick start docs, you'll see this is the exact code we, we copied earlier. And if you're on Windows, you can also check their full documentation for more help. Now, there's one small piece still missing. We haven't pasted our Figma API key yet. So go back to the config code and paste the Figma API token you copied earlier. Once that's done, just press Command plus S to save on Mac or Control plus S on Windows. After saving, you'll see your MCP server listed inside cursor. If it shows a green dot, that means it's active and everything is working. You'll now see two tools, get Figma data, Download Figma images. Get Figma data is used to pull layout and node IDs from your Figma design. And if there are any design assets like images, you can use a, a download Figma images to fetch them. Make sure these tools are enabled. Uh, if they're enabled, you'll see them in green. If there's any issue, it will show you right away. And that's how easy it is to integrate the Figma MCP server with Cursor. Now, in the next step, I'll show you how to actually use it with agentic mode. All right. Once you've added your MCP server, you should be able to clone any Figma designs you have. I have a Figma design here just for demo purposes. It's a community fitness app design. If you go to the URL, you'll see this Figma file with a few screens. Open it in Figma and you'll land on the full design board. Now, what I want to do is clone these exact app screens into code normally this would take me two to three days to do manually but now with mcp integration it will be done in under five minutes let me show you how first go to the layers panel in figma 
you'll see all the screens listed. Let's say I want to clone the home page. Right click and choose copy link to selection, then head back to cursor. I've created an empty folder for this. Now I'll open up the composer window, which is basically the agentic mode in cursor. From here, you can also choose the model you want to work with. Right now, I have Claude uh, 3.7 Sonnet selected, but you can also choose Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. So quick tip, how do you choose the right model? If your Figma design is large and has many elements, you'll want a model with a large context window. Claude 3 supports up to 200k tokens, but that might not be enough for huge designs. So in that case, go with Gemini 2.5 Pro, which comes with Cursor Pro because it supports a longer context and can handle more data. For now, I'll stick with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. Now let's give it a prompt. Something like create a fitness app from the following Figma design, then paste the Figma link. Also add create index.html and tailwind CSS. Keep the clone exactly like the Figma file. Once you give that prompt, cursor will trigger the MCP tools. First, it calls the get Figma data tool. In the logs, you'll see it pulling the file ID and node ID. Once that's run, you'll get all the Figma data inside cursor. Next, it makes a second call, download Figma images. It uses those reference IDs from the Figma uh, design to download all related images. Once you run that, you'll see all the assets downloaded directly into your folder. Pretty cool, right? Earlier, you had to manually save and import images, which took a ton of time. But now with MCP, it's super quick and easy. Once all that is done, cursor will start generating HTML and CSS files. It now creates the index.html uh, file using Tailwind CSS. You'll see the full layout created. It's also trying to generate a readme file file, but I'll cancel that for now and just keep the changes we got. Let's run the project and see how it looks. Or just look at this. It cloned the design exactly the way we want it. If you had to write this whole thing in HTML and CSS by hand, it would have taken two to three full days. But with the Figma uh, integration, it happened in under five minutes. You can also refine the design. Let's say you only want to import a specific component. You, you can copy the link for just that section and reprompt it inside Composer. Just say something like, this is not what I want. Please clone only the selected component from this link. That way you can fine tune your UI without coding everything from scratch. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure to like and comment what you want to see next. By the way, we already have everything covered inside the school community. I'll drop the link in the description. Make sure to join. We've got all the resources to help you go from zero uh, to pro using cursor and MCP. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.